Order. Order. In Westminster, we start with prayers, where the Speaker processes through Parliament, arrives, the doors shut. And what's interesting is that that's the only time where it's all MPs. Um, and then after prayers are over, the doors open, the journalists come in, the gallery fills up. It'll then be followed by question time. The ministers have to come to Parliament to, uh, to account for their uh, departmental activities. It might be Home Office questions, it could be foreign office questions or education questions or defence questions. The interrogation of ministers is something that takes place every day, Monday to Thursday. Can my right honourable friend tell me how much will be saved by freezing police pay? And what are the benches opposite? Support those savings. MPs have to put in in advance what they want to ask for part of the session, but then there's a bit at the end called topical questions where people can ask anything they like we're there to give some answers. We then move on to statements or urgent questions. If something uh, critical had happened, perhaps the Prime Minister needs to report back on a big international conference, uh, then he will give a statement. A member can ask permission from the Speaker urgently to question a Minister on a matter that has arisen, on which, for whatever reason, the Minister hasn't offered to make a statement to Parliament. Uh, will the Minister make a statement on the government's plans in respect of the report on employment law? Then we'll get into the main business of the day, which typically would be perhaps the second reading of a bill. So for the first time, Parliament is, is looking at the, the scope of a, a particular bill. Some days, you know, it will be an opposition day, so the opposition will actually choose what's being discussed in the chamber. There's accountability. The opposition can have their debates on their choice. And so can the backbenchers too, so I think it works really well. Members of Parliament can present petitions, and every, any member of Parliament is entitled to do that. And then the, the last thing that happens in Parliament would be an adjournment debate. An adjournment debate is where parliamentarians uh, want to raise particular issues. And it raises its profile because the government then has to send a minister to respond to the backbencher on the adjournment debate. And therefore that minister needs a speech and needs to research what they're saying and, and making sure that they are uh, 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 effectively up to date on whatever the issue happens to be.